So, once you get the mechatronics unit out, you want to take these four Torx bolts out at T25. Get this retainer out. And there are five more T25s here. Once you get those out, this just pulls up and off. And just make sure you don't lose these two O-rings. And now you can take off the rest of the T40 bolts on this side. Now, once you get this mechatronics unit taken apart, you just want to make sure you note there's a red spring, a green spring, a black spring, and you have five little plugs here, so don't lose any of those. So if you're having any kind of pressure, solenoid range errors or anything like that, where you're going to want to look at is these solenoids and it's pretty simple once you have the retainer off you can just pull them right out and these ones look fine you can see the little screen on the end is clean sometimes those screens will be plugged and that'll cause a pressure error <clears throat> and sometimes as well the actual valve inside the solenoid will it will stick and it won't actually move check all of those just do them one by one so you don't mix anything up clean clean yeah so mine are all looking pretty good these two valves are absolutely stuck right now. And that's what's causing my problem. Sometimes these little retainers will fall right out when you open the unit. So those will be the, the valves that are causing your problem. In my case, it's number five and six. And uh, I'll put a picture in to show exactly what each one does. And they're stuck. What I found is a good way to get these out is to go from the inside and just find a slot that you can get a tiny screwdriver in and just find an edge on one of the valves and just work it out just gotta go bit by bit and then eventually it'll come out there's one part of it and here's another part Yeah, it's a bit tough. You can actually hear <clears throat> metal metal chunks are probably stuck in there. That's what's causing it. There it is, though it's coming. Yeah, I can see a couple little flakes. And there should be a spring in there too. So basically just go through each one 
what I do is put each one in its own bag. Just a Ziploc number. This one's number six. Put it in. And this way it just stays organized. And we're going to clean this entire valve body to get as much metal particles out as possible. So. Yep, just go around and do all 11 valves. So once you've cleaned it, everything's all nice and clean again. Make sure you've put your springs back in. You want red, green, black. <clears throat> Make sure your five plugs go back in. that, squeeze it down, and line it back up, Good.